beautiful <laughs> stuff. Shirley Stewart, yes, something, Shirley. something so good. Thank you very and, much. And you know, from time to time, what will happen is, you know, people want to hear the traditional other stuff, uh, but the old tunes, the old favorites, but that one's different. It's new and it's sounding good. Well, yeah, I, I feel that I can always sing the love song. I've done it for so many Let's years. Let's get that microphone a bit. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I've done the love song for so many mm -hmm. years. This song, I wrote it back in 09. And the reason is because I live in the U.S. And when I look at how things are there with the economic downturn, I felt compelled to write something. Mm -hmm. And so I came up to say, brother. Excellent. So what, what, are you, like, what are you hoping people will gather from this? I mean, it has a nice little catchy melody and everything, but are you wanting them to pay closer attention to it? Maybe start some reflection, some introspection? But that's a good question because when I wrote the song, I wasn't thinking in terms so much of dance and so much of the music. The lyrics are important. You know, I'm saying that in the U.S., if you don't have medical insurance, you have a hard time seeing a doctor. And I mean, with the kind of money that they have, we, we should be able to support everyone. You know, they said, well, you it's kind of socialist. It's not socialist. It's about humanity. It's about love and respect for each other. You are your brother's keeper. And interestingly enough, that's a big debate right now. Yeah. And, uh, you see? In the primaries. And so it, it, never, the, it never ends. Yeah. And I wrote the song years ago, and it's still mm -hmm. apropos. Something good. What, what have you been up to? I mean, clearly you're busy writing still. Um, do you get to come home often? You're here now. We're happy to see you. Fill us in. Well, I'm going to fill you in. In fact, I'll be back mm -hmm. here in March. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, you know, I scheduled for March the 11th at the plantation. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have the show called Smile, Jack Yopal, a West Indian Man. Right, right. Where we're raising funds for Jack Yopal. So they're asking all the entertainers to come and, you know, mm -hmm. offer their time and talent to yeah. this cause. And I mean, I told them, sign me up. I want to come and do it for the late, great Jackie O'Brien. Indeed. I think Boo Husbands is, is yeah, behind Adrian this. Yeah, Adrian Boo Husbands is the one behind it. Yeah, and they want to maintain his, his grave site and, really, and do a number of things for the family. Really good effort, and the entertainers are all excited Yes, about and it's this. good to see all the entertainers from, you know, <laughs> all aspects coming together just for that one cause. Mm -hmm. Show that, you know, even though we perform, we're in competition, there's still a love uh, for each other. From you as an entertainer in the business, what sort of uh, where do you place Opel in, in terms of the Barbados yeah, musical he's landscape? He's an icon. Yeah. You know, you don't place him. He's just an icon. I mean, I, I'll tell you a little, a little trivia. When I was younger, much younger, I met Jack Opel on Broad Street. I was there with a you know a little boy. Then walking the streets, a friend said, "There's Jack Opel." Mm -hmm. He was standing across from Cape Shepherd. It was mm -hmm. a Saturday morning. I remember it like this. And the guy took me up to Jack Opel. He said. I'm going to put this little man on you. <laughs> you know how we, how we do. Yeah. And I remember Jack was saying, yeah, we'll bring him tonight. Uh, the Troubadours, I think, were playing at the drill hall. He said, we'll bring him tonight. Of course, I couldn't leave for him like that. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it still with me, you know. Right, right, yeah, definitely. Right. So, so this would, is a pleasure. Would you then say that he was part of the inspiration for you really getting seriously involved in entertainment? Well, I would give him full marks because, remember, he brought the Spooge beat here to Barbados. And I was the lead singer of the Escorts International. And we had such hits as um, Never End in Love, Six Months. A lot of the songs we did were spoo songs. Mm -hmm. I did a song uh, that I wrote called, I have that feeling, loving feeling. And that was in spoo. So yeah, Jackie had a big influence on most of us during that period of time. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you're coming back for that, and you're obviously very excited. Uh, you you think that, that, that enough is being done? Enough is being said, written, you know, to put him in that icon position? Well, believe it. You could go to on the internet, or you can Google Jack Opel, or you can go to Wikipedia, and you'll be surprised at the stuff of the information that is there on him. Mm -hmm. I, I saw it and I was amazed because he was more popular in Jamaica than he yeah. was here. I was reading a book years ago um, on Bob Marley, and Marley said he used to use Jackie Opel. Imagine that. Mm -hmm. He used to go in his mirror and try to imitate the late great. So Jackie Opel was one of the kind. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do with this song? Are you going to uh, release it as a recording? Well, it can be purchased right now because I have it. It's on Amazon, oh. uh, CD Baby. Mm -hmm. Also, I, I'm glad you brought that up. Walk <laughs> Away From Love, which is, you know, the That's classic. That's favorite. That's the People classic. People think, it's, I can't get hold of that song. Where's the song? I, I can't buy it. Well, they can buy it. It's on iTunes. It's on Amazon. You can download it. I have a whole 
album on there, mm -hmm. the best of Shirley Stewart. You can go there and purchase any of those songs, so, including this one. Say what? Well. Do you get that all the time? People always want you to do at least a little bit of that song. Listen, I believe that if I become a multi multi millionaire, the only thing they can ever want to hear from me. As well. I was coming through the airport yesterday, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the customs, the woman at customs, when I got me, she went, "Well, I saw you on TV last night. Oh, I love that song. So, you know, so it, 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 it never ends." So, never ends. so yeah, we're gonna leave. We're gonna wrap up the show. We're gonna say all goodbye. So, and we like you say, "Have a good one, Barbados. Have a great weekend." Don't walk away from love. I will walk away from love once more, like I've always done before. <laughs>